BMW iX X Drive 50M Sport UK Review 2022. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. This is what will ultimately be the middle sitting of three available versions of the all-new, all-electric BMW iX, the firm's new zero-emissions luxury flagship model, and receptacle for its most advanced platform, connectivity and semi-autonomous driving technology, as well as its very latest electric propulsion tech. We've already driven the 9 abroad, but in the UK so far, only in entry-level X-Drive 40 form. Unlike other luxury EVs, the 9 offers twin electric drive motors, the electrically excited kind, which don't rely on heavy rare earth metals to serve as permanent magnets, whichever version you buy. But that doesn't mean there aren't several technical lures to tempt you to part with the extra 25,000 pounds you'll need to step up from a 40 to a 50. There's the usual power upgrade, which is quite a big one here, 516 bhp versus 322 bhp. Then there's the bigger drive battery, 105 kilowatt hours usable capacity versus 71 kilowatt hours, and the associated improvement to usable range, the 50 is WLTP certified to put 120 miles more between charges than the 40. The 50 will also hit faster DC rapid charging speeds, 195 kilowatts versus 150 kilowatts. For customers with the wherewithal to have either, you can't imagine there will be much of a decision to make, but there is more to convince if needed. BMW fits multi-chamber air suspension and four-wheel, active ratio steering to 950 models as standard, whereas 40s only get those systems as cost options. Have M Sport trim and you'll get uprated brakes, too, which ought to come in handy when slowing what is a 2510 kg car without anyone or anything aboard. The carbon cage construction of this car's mixed material chassis and its new generation model platform may both be cutting edge, but a 5-meter SUV with twice as much onboard energy storage as the longest-range Nissan LEAF is always going to be hefty. This is a heavy car. What's it like? It feels predictably big, tall and wide on the road, but surprisingly wieldy and balanced in its handling, too, and very ready to be driven quickly and keenly, should you want to. You might well not want to. This is a luxury car, after all, but it's one with a broader spread of dynamic capability than you may be prepared for. I'm not sure I can remember another car quite like it, one that can be quite so quiet, smooth, versatile and comfortable at one moment, and then so instantaneously rapid the next. One that can do it all. An Audi e-tron S might approach it, but the Tesla Model X doesn't even get close. BMW's controversial current design philosophy hits a higher gear with this car, and lots of people have had lots to say about the 9 styling as a result. That may even be considered a measure of the car's success back at BMW HQ, we know the rationale well enough by now. This car's intended to look confident, characterful and arresting rather than beautiful, and to these eyes, in the metal rather than pictures, it does. You can make anything look confident and characterful, after all, but consistently designing beautiful SUVs, crossovers and compact MPVs of awkward proportions is near enough impossible. So BMW is aiming instead for cars so esoteric, bold and distinctive that they seem to fully own whatever effect they have on you, and they leave a lasting impression. Without any sense of irony, BMW describes this as a car that's been designed deliberately from the inside out. That grille has actually been redubbed an intelligence panel in the press material. This car has 5 cameras, 5 radar transceivers and 12 ultrasonic sensors around its exterior, and is alleged to be ready for the enabling of level 3 autonomous driving over the air, at an additional user subscription cost, needless to say, when it becomes legally allowable. At any rate, the styling didn't offend me in the raw nearly as much as other recent BMW designs have. And the longer I looked at the 9, the more I saw the story of the development of the modern BMW i brand being retold in its design. This is a bit like a supersized BMW i3, you know. It's a simplistic comparison, but just look. It has the pinched C-pillar, the scalloped lower flanks and the clamshell bonnet, and while it's not quite as high-waisted or cabin forwards as the electric Supermini, otherwise its proportions aren't too different. On the inside, the echoes are clearer still. You find a chunky two-spoke steering wheel, a low sloping dash and a lowish scuttle offering good all-round visibility a flat cabin floor with open footwells and a clever raised center console. Exposed carbon fiber around the door closures and a predominance of appealing natural and recycled materials further inside. A floating digital instrumentation and infotainment screen. Remind you of anything?
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.